Tennis to get CTV. Now guys, the transfer window is a few days off closing, which is so scary. <laughs> Um, but I want to talk to you about two things actually. Um, obviously we play tomorrow, so my preview will be up later. But obviously I am going to make a video on a Saturday still. So I want to talk about two things. Now they're both quite different stories to put in one video, but I'm going to go for it anyways. So guys, I'm going to talk about both Ege and Jekko and Diego Costa. Now some of you guys will be thinking, why are you talking about Diego Costa, Emma? And Diego Costa Emma, but you'll soon find out. <laughs> now, guys, I'll start off by talking about Age and Jekko. Now, I am going to be really honest, and some of you guys might be like, OMG, why are you saying this, Emma? But I'm going to be really honest. Now, obviously, most of you guys will already know that we've been linked strongly with Age and Jekko from Roma. Now, yes, there's been lots of rumours. Yes, there's been lots of speculation. Yes, there's been tons of stories in the media. And yes, I would be absolutely made up and buzzing if this signing went through. Do I think it's going to go through by the 31st of January 2018, the end of this transfer window of this month? No, I certainly do not. I would be absolutely gobsmacked if this transfer went through now. It's been rumoured for so many weeks now and it, if it actually went through, I'd be shocked. I mean, if it was actually going to happen, I personally feel that it would have happened by now. That's my opinion. And this isn't me um, wanting to put like a negative spin on everything because I really would like to see Jekyll come to Chelsea. But do I think it's going to happen? No, I don't. This player would be really good for our club. He would have an impact. Um, he'd be influential and he'd be able to battle it out with Maratta for the first team spot. And I do think that would benefit both Maratta and him because Maratta needs to fight with a player for that first team spot. He just thinks he owns that place. And if he had that bit of competition, maybe he'd up his game that little bit more. But yeah, I would like him to come to Chelsea, but I just can't see it happening, unfortunately, guys. But maybe in the summer transfer window it might. Fingers crossed. Also, guys, I might be saying all this, saying I don't think Eden Jekyll's going to come to Chelsea. And then it might be a freak and he might sign for us on the last day of the transfer window. But I do think it is a long shot. Now, guys, I am going to talk about... Diego Costa. Now, some of you guys might be watching this thinking, why are you even bringing him up, Emma? But I do need to talk about him. Now, I did put a social media post out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, head over to my social media um, to go and check it out if you want. Um, my social media, well, links and names are down below. And <laughs> bit of self promo there. But I did talk about Costa. This is a controversial point, but quite a lot of people did agree with me. So I kind of got a gist about how people felt. I feel the biggest mistake we ever made was letting Diego Costa go. Now, some fans would come back at me and say, yeah, but Emma, he wanted to leave, he wanted to go. But the club is so different without him. He, he had the potential to be one of the best players at Chelsea Football Club. He'd gone down in history. I mean, he helped us win trophies. He was a really good striker. Yeah, he was feisty and had a temperament. But that's what I loved about him. He, he was so dominant on the field. He wanted us to win every game. And if we didn't, it wouldn't be good enough. He would fight so hard for the club. We are lacking that that player, that player with that real fight and determination to win every single game and get the play the players out of a bad result. Like if Diego Costa was playing against Arsenal the other day, I don't think that would have necessarily been the same result because he would have wanted to win it for the team. I just think Diego Costa had something about him that we have definitely lost as a club now he's gone and I really am gutted he left and I know there's probably no point going on about it because it was months ago now and it is bringing back up old news but that's how I feel I am gutted I love Diego and I really didn't want him to leave I am devastated 
Now guys, just think about how different things would be now if Diego was still at our club. We wouldn't have to be going in for players in like the transfer window, in for players like Eden Dzeko. We wouldn't have to do that. We could have had Maratta, Batshuayi and Diego. That would have been perfect. We'd have had no problems there. But now, now we've left. Now he's gone, that's it. It's kind of, I'm gutted, guys. I'm so upset. So, yeah, guys, that was just a mixture of different stories in um, this video today, guys. So, let me know down below all your thoughts and opinions. Do you think Ejan Jekyll's going to sign for Chelsea by the end of the January transfer window? I don't think he will. Do you want... Do you think it was a big mistake letting Diego go? I do think it is. So yes, thank you so much for watching guys. Please like, comment, subscribe and up the channel. Thanks.